unless you're trying to find approximations, which I do not want. So if we're given a polar point, Kelsey, we know that this is our r and this is our theta. And we're trying to convert it to x comma y, right? So all we really simply need to know, guys, is x equals r times cosine of theta, y equals r times sine of theta. And basically, we're really just going to plug it in. You do need to know your unit circle, though. So sorry, Kelsey, it does come back to us. Um, but that's OK. It's good practice to make sure we don't forget it. Right? So then we go back. No, Brent, Brent, oh, go over here. So you look at cosine of pi over 6, and you could look at my first quadrant that I left up there if you need it. Um, or you could just say, OK, cosine of pi over 6, that's going to equal 2 times the square root of 3 over 2. And y equals 2 times 1 half. So x equals the square root of 3. y equals 1. So my point is square root of 3 comma 1. And that's it. Done. Okay.